All right, so we're going to dive a wreck of a concrete ship in the Bahamas. Are you excited, Lauren? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna snorkel. I'm Lauren. I'm Rob, and our furry crew members, Callie and Zora. We left our home in Colorado to set sail on our 44-foot catamaran, Kelpie. Join the Kelpie crew and watch us go wherever the wind may blow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to see more videos every Sunday. We discovered that not too far from us was a sunken concrete ship known as the SS Sapona. The SS Sapona was originally commissioned by former U.S. President Woodrow Wilson to serve as troops transport during World War I. During a hurricane in 1926, the ship ran aground and was damaged substantially. It was then used as a bombing target for training by U.S. fighter planes during World War II. itself is a popular attraction for tourists and is often populated by people. And while we were there snorkeling, we were also accompanied by a group of tourists. Rob was able to climb to the top of the ship. Making the jump off of the ship is about 30 some feet into the water.
So, what are we about to do, Rob? We're gonna go try this scuba hookah system. I've never done it before, so it should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. But there's a reef over there. We're gonna try diving it with this. I think it's Lauren's first time going underwater, like. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's do it. That so should be fun. a little rougher today than yesterday. This thing has to float on top of the water while we're underwater. Hope they're all right. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so bad. East to Great Harbor K. I was up all night, probably. It was a little choppy. It was a little rough out there. It's a lot calmer now. We got both engines running. We ran both of the engines all night. We averaging like seven and a half knots. side of it. Bullock Harbor. And it's off Great Harbor K. So let's go check this anchor. It's pretty shallow here so it's kind of windy though. I'm not, our anchor is out there. All right let's see what it looks like. Oh, is that fun? Is there having fun on the paddleboard? We're gonna go paddleboarding. He's like, I'm gonna stay in the very middle in between your arms to stay safe. I feel like turn my body around though. I'm not facing it the right way. He does not like the water dim. Nope. Come on, buddy. Go, go, go. Look, you can do it. Oh, you made it. He's like, okay, I sit here. <laughs> don't. Behind me. He's like, don't move me. Come here. Come here. He doesn't know. Callie, what? You feel like you're missing out? Bye, Zoro. Alright, don't go far, Lauren. Oh, 
Because I'm going to have to jump in and save him if you fall. Sorry, no, you can't handle that. Bye, Lauren. Hey! Why do you do that? Bye, Lauren. Well, you have to swim after the board if it falls off. Okay, paddleboard back. This way. Kelly. All right, so we're about to go get rid of our trash. Um, lots of boats anchored here because the wind's supposed to pick up later in the week. Um, great cell service, so good with that, I can work. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go check it out, see what's on here. It's a pretty decent size island in the Bahamas. Um, definitely a grocery store, a municipal dock that we can put the dinghy at, hoping there's a trash dumpster there or something where we can dish it. But uh, we're about to find out. Ready to go, Lauren? Okay. We're off. There's nowhere to tie up. You gotta go over there. What? There's nowhere to tie up. This is my first time baking bread in the bread maker. Okay, so I made sure my milk was room temperature. I need three cups of flour, three tablespoons of honey, I followed the recipe for milk and honey bread. There's one, two, three. Three tablespoons of butter. There's my butter. Okay, I guess that's it. It's kneading. Hmm? What? It wasn't really easy. It actually came out pretty good. Lord. Put it in your mouth and put your head in the water. You don't have to go down, but you need to practice breathing. I feel like I can't breathe. You can. Okay, stick it in your goggles. Oh. Thanks for watching.